Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, all of the locations for the ancient smithing stones. And there are 10 in total for every picture that you have uh, so far that I know of. And uh, I'm going to be also making a video on the submarine smithing stones as well. But yeah, let's get started, uh, started shall we? Okay, the first location is going to be inside the skull over here next to the uh, church of uh, repose so just TP to the uh, foot of the forge or giant's grave uh, post if you have either one of those and uh, also I'm using a Elden Ring wiki for these locations so I'm just gonna go uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you all the locations showed on the map in that but yeah and also uh, I will also link the uh, wiki down in the uh, in the bio of the for this video. Okay. All you have to do is just come up here. There's gonna be a big skull, and inside that skull is the first location. If I find it, okay. Here we go. Okay. Here on the map, there's gonna be a skull. Inside that skull, it's gonna be an ancient dragon. Uh, ancient dragon smith. Okay, so for the second location, you're gonna have to make your way into the helitry uh, area by uh, coming to the Ordinia, uh, what is it, the Detulugal town or whatever, but I'll probably butcher that, but whatever, you just come to this uh, town and then do the puzzle, and then once you do the puzzle, you get into the helitry, and once you're inside the helitry area, uh, where you have to fight uh, the one of the hardest bosses in this game basically if you get in like in this area make your way uh all the way up to the helitry town grace and once you get here just come down here and follow this path uh the the ancient dragon stone is going to be guarded by a mini boss and uh yeah you can you can either kill him or just take the Take the uh, Ancient Dragon Stone and then leave. So yeah, all you have to do is jump down there, as I just did, and then come down here by where that ladder is. Jump down here as well. And then, as you can see, there is a statue. And there is the uh, item right uh, behind that uh, mini boss. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run to it, take it, and then there we go. Watch out for this area, those guys hit hard, and they are kind of scary, and uh, yeah, that's it for the second one. Okay, so the third location is also going to be in the helitry area, and there's going to be more of these in this area, but yeah. For the third one, if you have the prayer room uh, grace, then it's going to be way easier. But uh, Basically what you have to do is there's an elevator in that uh, tower go up and then take the stairs up there's going to be a chest but if you don't have that one you'll have to go to the town plaza grace that we were just at uh where the other one was and then just follow the way but you probably have the praying room so you can easily get it but if you don't and if you have this uh, grace just follow this way and skip everything or just kill, uh, kill everything Watch out for that attack, the attack is quite deadly. But yeah, just take this route to the, uh, the Dragon Smith so. In this area, uh, again, I would watch out because these guys are quite strong and they deal a lot of damage. So I'll just skip them. But yeah, again, if you wanna kill them, just kill them. There's gonna be a boss fight, uh, boss in here. Kill him. And then there's gonna be Grace here that you can take. This is the Electri Promenade Grace. From there on, just continue. And 
Uh, once you get here, that chest down there is a chest containing the engine dragon stone. All you have to do is take the ladder down and then take the stairs up. There we go. So that's the lift or the elevator that I was talking about. They have to take up from the press room. All you have to do is come up the stairs and then open the chest and take the ancient dragon smithing stone. There we go. That's the third location. The fourth one is gonna be in this cave right here. In this, uh, in a cave called Anixonal. Yeloof, and it's not whatever it is in the snow area right here. So, all you have to do is if you come down um, the elevator and if you get the grace, just run up here and follow the way. Then there's gonna be a drop right here. You drop it down after dropping down, you just push right and then follow the tunnel and then drop again right here. So once you get to this uh, wooden area, drop down again. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a mini boss type of guy that's bouncing right here. You can take care of him. And then, uh, once he dies, you can collect it, or you can just keep him and then collect it as well. You don't have to kill this guy. And then, as you can see right here on this corpse, there's gonna be Ancient Dragon Smithic Stone. But yeah, that was the fourth, the fourth one up to the fifth one. Location, we're gonna have to come uh, to the Dragon Temple Altar, Grace. And then, once you're here, just follow these notes, go to the big doorway, and the smaller one. Down the stairs, and then you're gonna have to jump down here. If you want to, you can ignore all the enemies, but if you want to kill them, you can also kill them. I died here a second ago, but let's ignore that. Then you have to go down here as well. Probably gonna have to take some hits. But just keep going this way and then up over right here. Now that guy does a lot of damage. But yeah. And then you just go up these stairs. Ignore this guy, jump up here, uh, up this pillar, and then there you go. You can see, you can right here, so you can take it, again. That's the first location of that, doesn't matter, I got the thing. But yeah, up to the sixth one, I guess. Okay, so for the sixth one, you're gonna have to come to the uh, Bestial Sanctum. Bestial sanction, and then as you can uh, see, there's an NPC here that you have to trade in uh, death fruits for, and there is a total of nine death fruits that you can trade in. And on the last one, on the ninth death fruit, he will give you the stone. But I think once you kill him, he also drops the stone. So I'm gonna battle him, kill him, and then I'll see what he drops once I kill him. Okay, so I just killed him by the door and then he drops something as you can see it's a this is a really hard boss I cheesed him by this door but it still took me a long time yeah okay I got the beast eye and also the ancient dragon spinning stone from him mm. uh, you have to come to the inner consecrated uh, stonefield grace and you have to make it nighttime as well this has to be done uh, when it's nighttime okay once you're here you're gonna you need to find this convo, uh, convoy, it, it can spawn from there, it mostly spawns from up there and then goes down, but if uh, it's not, like, if you haven't made it night time and if you, you were already roaming at night time, it can be down in that frozen river as well. But basically, once you come to this convoy, you're gonna have two uh, night calvaries on each side, and those are two mini bosses that you have to fight. Uh, at the same time, or you can just uh, aggro one of them, hit one of them, let them come to you, 1v1 them, kill the other one. And then once you kill both of them, you're going to get their armor set and also the Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. I've already done this, but I have a recording that I'm going to uh, 
attached to this, like after this clip. You're gonna see me getting it. But yeah, up to the next one. jump down here from up there and then there's gonna be a uh, lightning dragon that comes down and you have to kill it and it drops the uh, stone. Next one uh, again, let's uh, come to the inner consecrated uh, snowfield uh, graves and then we have to make our way up to the cave of the forlord uh, lorn and then there's gonna be a uh, what is it lizard dragon whatever thing here and uh, behind that boss is uh, the ancient dragon's way so let's go over there real quick and then take it so i think there is more than 10 I did say in the video there is 10, there is definitely more than 10 and I'm gonna try and show you as much as I can. But yeah, just follow the frozen river till we come to the boss guy. You can kill him if you want, but either you kill him or just ignore him and take the thing. Take the engine dragon stone. Nothing dragon stone. Okay. So this is the uh, great wyvern or whatever, the Dorix. All you have to do is ignore him, come up here, and then get okay, burned. And then as you can see, on this body, the engine dragon is moving, so there you go. Next. The next one, uh, you're gonna have to come to the dragon temple rooftop, Grace. And from here, you're gonna have to progress your way up into the dragon that is fighting at you. But I think you guys, because they are annoying and they do a lot of damage. I died like twice or three times. Okay. So the first one would guide you guys, these guys. Yeah, take care of these guys. Then once you make it to the dragon, kill the dragon, then you have to get uh, Smith zone, there is also a sunburn smithing from there that I already took it. Here we go. Start the lightning, make sure the, these birds don't kill you. They do a lot of damage and they are annoying to put tank one using a magic ball. But uh, when I was rocking my Kazana build, I always skip these guys because killing them is not gonna happen. But yeah, just come up here, show me your mimic, whatever you have to do. Then kill the dragon ball. I mean, yeah, not the dragon ball, but the dragon itself. He's really weak on health for me, for some reason. I'm not sure if it's always like this. And he's not doing anything. Well, I guess it's an easy kill. But yeah, <laughs> kill him, take care of him, and there you go, and then smithing stone. Okay, so the last one is going to be a questline related uh, dragon stone. So uh, when you do the Selen questline at the end, you'll have to choose between Selen and Jarn, and you have to actually go with the Jarn route and kill Selen, then you get a dragon smithing stone. <laughs> 